There I am. Go live. Welcome to this live stream of uh, uh, healing video <laughs> in general that will clear and shield your house. Now, before I start and really get going, I'm just going to put a disclaimer out there. With energy um, clearings, negative entities, while they're being raised, can often act up. <laughs> if you're living in a house with a lot of them, you're most likely already aware of this. But if your entities are targeting your electronics to be precise. So if you say have had electronic problems with your dishwasher or your washing machine or, or your oven and you've most likely had them break in the past, it is possible. Um, it's very unlikely for most people, but if you're already having electronic problems that they will just break. Now I would say that in the short term just buy a new dishwasher, but because in the long term it'll just be worth you know, your peace of mind, your own safety and sanity, but that's not my decision to make. So if you are worried about your electronics breaking, it's very unlikely unless you're already having major problems with them, in which case, this may just finish them off. Other than that, everyone else, you, you don't need to worry about that. What will happen is this video, um, I'll go through that now, it's going to shield your house, and if you want it to shield somewhere else other than your house, what you will do is you will just make the intention for it to shield somewhere else. And you say, okay, how, how do I do that? Okay, your house is what it's set to default, right? The house where you live in, your energy automatically knows that. But if you want it to shield your office or somewhere else, then you can either play this video there with the intention for it to work where you're at, or you can simply just close your eyes after you've gone through it and clear your house first, that's more important. Then close your eyes and just picture uh, in as much detail as you can. It doesn't have to be overly detailed, but just... <laughs> It, so long as you make the intention that this small square building is your office, then you can picture that. That is how that will work. Um, when playing this, if things get quite bad, for example, <laughs> in my old house, I had it that... I'm just going to pause my own video so I'm not seeing myself. Um, mainly because I'm worried about the internet here. <laughs> yeah. um, if it's really bad, I had nights where I'd be trying to sleep and entities would be having a giant party in my house, all the cupboards and doors and everything were just banging and slamming. If that happens and it's really bad, yes, they're, they are in all you're playing this and they know you're playing it, okay? This is not a secret. Then what you can do is you can, essentially, there'll be a small square at the top on whatever internet browser you're on, right click that and then left click duplicate. Now you can mute the video, otherwise it'll get pretty annoying, and just play five, six, 10 tabs to the point where they will be so energetically just compressed and being erased that it won't be a problem. Now, for most people, I don't recommend you start off with just playing it 10 times at once, but if it's really bad, that'll fix it, okay? So, I would recommend you do that. For everyone else, play through once, see how you go. You will most likely feel, and I'm going to talk more about this in detail later, you will feel the energy of your house change. Um, why I'm making this is because I had planned to well, move for quite a while, but I had planned this video in particular, and I thought, no, I'll do this once I move, because um, now I'm in a new house, I'm going to want to energetically shield it, and if I'm going to shield it for myself, which is going to take quite a while anyway, it actually makes a lot of sense to just design a very complex shield, which I have spent quite a while making this, um, the more you play this video, the more strengthened the shield will become, and I'll, I'll, just, I'll go through that now. So, essentially, around your house, whatever you perceive your house to be, so you don't need to worry about your neighbor's house, it will put a golden sphere around, and then it, the energy will go through each room and just fully clear. If you want it to, in particular, target a particular room just say like let's say your bathroom is really bad all right <laughs> something bad happened in your bathroom pitch your bathroom and say just forget the rest of the house do the bathroom and the energy will listen to you unless you're saying do the bathroom and turns out down beneath you have a cellar that you don't even know about that's completely locked it will do the cellar first because <laughs> that's the priority 
But nine times out of ten, it always seems to you, and it will do where you're, um, you know, where you, where you want it to. Once the shield is at a strength, so let's say you played it like it, it will depend how many times you should play it, depending on the size of your house and just how bad the energy is in your house and the overall surroundings. But once your house is fully shielded, there's no real difference between an energetic shield of say ten trillion and a hundred trillion. That they're both very strong. There's not much of a difference. So what it will do with that energy, your audio is a bit muffled. Oh dear. Um, it, I can talk a bit quieter. I was having technical difficulties before that. So I'll see if I can fix that um, in a moment, Kevin. I'll just finish this part at least first. It will... I mean, worst case, I'll remake the video. <laughs> I've already got the shield. That was the hard part. This is just putting it out there. Um, it will go through and it will fully clear through your house. Um, and once your house is fully clear of everything that I can pick up and sense at the moment, everything I know about, which I will go through um, and list all of those later. I'm not going to list everything because we'd be here for 10 hours. But, but I will list quite a lot. It will go through and it will clear everything. Once your house is fully cleared and fully shielded, then the energy will go and clear outside of your house. It will go and clear your overall land. Now, let's say your neighbor... No, I'm still going to say neighbor's very evil. If you do want to skip the house, you can tell it to, but if they're right next to you, just have it clear the house. It, it's not really going to... This is not a personal healing video. The main focus of this is overall entities. So, if you're having trouble sleeping, and the entities all around you, which I grew up with and I'll talk about that as well this will help a lot because those entities that are around you they're external to you will get erased by this it's not going to focus on your internals I'm going to do another video on that later on but this is just overall outside of you everything outside of you this will work on I wrote some notes so I don't get too off topic so I'll pull those up um, I'll go through the what it will clear now I just wrote out overall what it will do so this will clear demonic energy from your surroundings it will clear satanic energy um just think of baphomet the goat demon um satanic pentagrams etc yes these these are very very common in people's houses purgatory energy purgatory gates um purgatory energy it's mainly just skeletons but most of them aren't human it'll be like 20 rib cages connected together with a skull on top and a skull over here that's purgatory energy. Hell demons, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Hell hounds, vampiric entities, gorgons, undead and evil spirits. I just group all of these under demonic energy. It will clear your house of any, and sh completely shield you from any alien interference. So reptilians, greys, prey mantises, and other insectoids, there are a lot of insectoids. Amphibians, there are a lot of amphibians. Um, Cthulhu, Admiral Akbar, fish people, Merman, Sirens, there are a lot of amphibian entities, crabs, you name it. Um, not all of them, some I'd group under monsters, but a lot of them are alien in nature. The Arcturians, everything I mentioned here is pure evil, by the way, okay? Those are false white light, very evil. Lyran, Andromedan, Syrian, Orion. This is completely pure, um, I'm not going to say completely pure, that's a, <laughs> it's praying myself a bit too much. This is positive energy, right? So, if you do have some energetic friend and he transforms into a giant octopus monster and tries to eat you he he was not your friend okay he reacted to positive energy in a very bad way now if your friend doesn't and he, he's just fine or she's just fine then perhaps you do have a positive entity there I um I mean it's a very good way to, to find out so don't worry about positive things being harmed um, Arcturians, Lyrans, they're winged lions, Andromedans, they're very evil. They're basically blue dwarf creatures with like 20 arms. Um, very nasty. Syrians, blue... Well, I've forgotten what Syrians look like. I can see them in my mind. How do I describe them? Think of um, like ox people. Um, ox aliens with... That, that's not what they look like. Anyway, and Orions. They look like alien elves. They, they look cool. Their energy is interesting, but it is evil. Um, I am near near the water, Jordan. I'm a 20-minute walk from the beach. 
Uh, I was just checking the chat. Um, other than that, next we have the gods. You have Egyptian gods. All of them are evil. You have Aztec gods, Hindu gods, Buddhist gods, um, Mesopotamian, Greek, Norse, Titans. You name it. <laughs> you name it. Um, in particular, what I am seeing now with the gods, I'll talk about um, something I cleared a few days ago. With Shiva, I had Shiva energy in me and I was clearing it. And he went from being what you see when you Google image Shiva to being essentially a blue Baphomet variant with 30 arms and all kinds of Hindu um, seals. Often the energy of what I clear is not in English. If I'm clearing Jin energy, it's in Arabic. But most of the things, entities just seem to do it in the country they're in of that language or the country they're mainly in. So. It's often in English, but there's a lot of times when it's in a completely different alien language. It will also clear your house from monsters, so dinosaurs, werewolves, serpents, slimes, hydras, cyclopses, spiders, etc. I could miss every, every, pretty much every fantasy monster, and most of them are real, or at least very similar to real entities. Then it will clear, and this is a very major one, AI entities. Now, you can just picture basically circular supercomputers, and what they do is they go and they will come to your house if they're targeting you, and they will plug into every entity I just mentioned and convert them into AI. So you end up with an AI army of all these different entity races, all with AI energy. Um, they're not, I mean, they are fairly common, but they don't target everyone. And if, but if they do target someone, it's normally they, all their stuff is just AI. And then it will also go through and erase any avian implants, AI implants, different energetic implants that you can't... It, it doesn't matter if you can't sense or see them, so long as the energy can, it will clear them. It will clear corruption a little bit. Corruption energy, that's a long topic and I'll talk about it in, in another time, but it, it will gradually, very gradually clear through corruption energy. Corruption energy is very hard to clear. It will clear pornography energy, which again is another video on its own uh, quite detailed topic, and any kind of trauma energy. So let's say you checked your phone while you were in uh, the hallway and someone had sent you a mean message or something traumatic happened, you found out someone died. That energy basically, it can come out and just stick to the wall. That's trauma energy. So we're gonna clear your house from that. And then any kind of self-harm or suicidal energy. I'll often see this as black X marks or stitches um, on people's body and I also see it in people's houses. Especially if someone in your house has committed suicide or attempted to commit suicide, that room is normally covered in suicide energy to the point where when you're in that room, your thoughts, depending on how energetically weak you are and what weaknesses you do have, it will target the walls um, not the walls, it will, it will target the walls, it will target you, and if you're in a pretty good shape, it will just give you negative thoughts, but if you're in a really bad shape, you'll notice that you're in the bathroom, and you're just getting really bad suicidal thoughts, and you leave the bathroom, and after, I mean, if you're having suicidal thoughts, it's pretty bad, probably an hour in the living room, you gradually exit out of them, and then it will clear any energetic, negative energetic portals, vortexes, energy pockets, entity realms, etc., this shield will not install any portals in your house or any thing. The only thing it will install is positive energy that will go through your house and a large shield around your house. If you do want this to work on a particular room, you can say, okay, there's a shield in my house, but I, in particular, I just want my bedroom. Just do my bedroom. And you can make the intention for that and it will do a specific room, but I'd recommend you try and do the overall house first, unless it's really bad like my house was. Um, where I've just moved from, that house was so bad. <laughs> oh, it was, it was crazy. I mainly just shielded my bedroom because the whole house, it was just a lost cause. Uh, it was very, very bad. If anyone has any questions about that, um, feel free to ask. And by, by the way, Kevin, thank you for trying to calm people this morning. I had scheduled this live stream for 2.30 in the afternoon, at least that's what I, I clicked. And... If it was 2.30 in the morning, I'd be like, oh, okay, I'm, I must have messed up and pressed the wrong thing. But the fact that it said 3 a.m. my time tells me, or uh, it 
makes me think, no, something odd happened there. Because 2.30 is what I clicked there. You can say three's right below. But it, it's not that right below. I'm pretty sure I clicked 2.30 and I saw 2.30. So something odd happened there to the point where I, I didn't notice whatsoever. Um, and no one else noticed. Yes, there is an eclipse going on. If I was in Australia right now, I would be having... So I'll, I'll just say, my, my apologies for anyone who got up <laughs> early for my 3 a.m. live stream that didn't it wasn't happening or for anyone who's, who uh, you know stayed up late for it I will be more vigilant to make to try and make sure that doesn't happen again um, I've lost my train of thought someone tell me what I was talking about I'll, I'll check my notes maybe that'll help me oh yes the, the eclipse so now that I'm here if I was in Australia right now having all, all that energy on me it was Terrible. I would have probably had insomnia. I'd be having. I'd be in a really bad state. But because I'm in a really nice area and I had done a few things, to nip it in the bud and shield myself, I I had a great night's sleep. I did not have any insomnia from it. I may make a eclipse video if I feel it's needed. I'm going to give it a few days and look at what's happening with people's energy with the eclipse and see how that goes. Um, I have seen a few people that are pretty bad in it. Um, this video, I have programmed it. So this shield, it will block, from this moment, it will block the eclipse energy coming into your house. And it will block the next two eclipses. The third one after those is going to be really bad. At, at least at the moment, the way time's going, that's where we're heading. So I'm, I'm doing hand signals. You can tell I'm in Italy now. Um, this will clear your environment from this eclipse energy and the next two and this will be a topic or a video that I every six months or perhaps even yearly if I feel I need to update my house shielding video then I will make a new one. Um, Chris just asked how often should we strengthen these shields? This shield, um, I mean your own personal shield just go with your own intuition but with this shield you once it's up, it'll, it'll be up. It'll be, it'll be pretty good. I'm going to talk more in detail about how you can tell when you, when you need to strengthen it um, later on. But, yeah, so with the Eclipse, don't worry about it. If it passes and people can mainly clear it, I won't worry about it. But if, it, if they can't, then it will. Is there any entities that are good uh, in Rias? Well, the answer is go on the assumption, and this will save your life. Go on the assumption that everything is evil. Now, not literally everything is evil but as far as we're concerned everything is evil that way you won't uh, screw up I've recently moved from Australia I'll, I'll say where I live I don't think that's a problem to Sardinia and the energy here is much better I went to the beach I mean it's so much better I can't, I can't even explain how much better it is um, I went to the beach and I did see like positive nature giants in the water. Now I still attack them a lot and I'm fairly confident they're positive. But just because they look positive and they're smiling at me, that doesn't mean I was going to just be like, oh, I believe you. Never ever believe anybody when it comes to this energy training. Okay, always test them. Um, Nagayan asked, I live in a building that used to be a hospital. Do you think there is a lot of negative energy? Well, it depends on the kind of hospital and how busy it was. The answer is yes. I'll also mention, if you live in an apartment building, make the intention, it, first off, it, it will do this naturally unless you change it. it. Make the intention for it to just cover your apartment and get that shield going. Then if you want, do it again, do your bedroom. Then you can do the whole apartment if you wish. Yeah, m morning time, the way you emailed me, I, as I've said, I'm not working for December. So that's what I'm talking about in the eclipse. Um, now this will let in nature spirits that are positive. Okay, the shield will be very, very thorough. Um, but if, if they can get in, it means they're made out of positive energy. So that'll be some nature spirits, which are very rare, um, and other very rare positive entities. Nature spirits usually exist in the eighth dimension, and unless you live in a very in area full of nature, or they need something from you or you need something from them it's unlikely to come across them um, but this yeah this isn't going to make it that nothing can get in if any entity is like hey I need you to give me permission that is an evil entity <laughs> now if m most people's energy 
um, won't be able to get in, but if you invite them in, their energy is now in your house and it's, it's through the shield, okay? They may feel bad, if they're, especially if they're ill, that they've now walked into your clean house <laughs> and my energy is making them feel ill because they're satanic, they're, you know, everything's opposite for them. Um, but so long as you don't let anyone in, it's going to be pretty hard for people to get their energy into your house now. Um, overall, oh, <laughs> the chat just moved. Um, you, uh, Lisa says that she's having a migraine at the moment. That is natural. The energy of your house is basically saying, no, please <laughs> turn this off. You, you're, you're killing us. The answer is, just toughen, toughen it out. Short term suffering, and then long term peace and relax. Um, in terms of energy of houses, you and I may be saying something that a lot of people are aware of, but you just haven't heard it worded this way. Houses essentially have their own, I wouldn't say consciousness, but their own awareness. They become aware what they pull in and magnetize what's going on. So if you're targeted, your house is normally, if you've seen, I've seen a lot of nature energy around me. Um, if you've seen, I can't remember the movie, the, the, the childhood animated movie where the house is evil, someone put it in the chat. If you've seen that movie, that is pretty much energetically how all targeted people's houses are. So your house, it may feel suffocating. It may either feel like get out, like you're not welcome in your own house, and it is your house, okay? Even if someone, let's say an evil spirit is there. He died 30 years ago. That evil spirit, the main consciousness, it, it, most likely his soul is gone if he had a soul or she had a soul. And the main consciousness is an entity, and it is just guilt tripping you. One thing entities love to do is guilt trip you. So you say no, you, you negative entity, and you just have this person's wrath and anger from when he died, and you're now getting erased pretty much. Um, so your house may feel suffocating. It may either push away or it may be like clingy. You may have a really hard time leaving your house. Things will happen. Your keys disappear. That will d gradually leave as you use this video. Um, and your house should become more inviting. It'll be more like a warm hug, but it will be happy for you to leave. That's the energy I'm setting up for your house. If you have a garden or anything else, it will cover that as well. Unless your garden is very cursed, in which case it will shield your house, and then it will gradually clear your garden and then move out. Um, I'll just answer some questions. George says that last Tuesday there was a strange blue ring around the moon. I I didn't notice it. I very rarely look at the moon. But, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of um, interference and manipulation going on with that. Uh, Cal, um, Icaro asks, will this video shield my car? And the answer is, the first time, it will shield your house. Unless you... But, yes, it can shield your car. All you'll do is you will just picture your car... And then it will gradually shield and clear your car. I wouldn't recommend you clear the car while you're while you're in it because you may get a migraine. You may have some a few problems. So once you're not in the car and not driving, you can be in the car, but don't be driving. You can play it and shield your car, no problem. Yeah, right now um, I'll just say this: a lot of people, your lights may be flickering, going mad. That is a good sign, and it will pass. Um, worst case, you have to buy the new light bulb, but that's very unlikely. If that is happening, man, your house was in really bad shape. I'm sorry for you. Um, but, you know, know that this is all clearing and it's very good. Yes, everyone, your guests can still bring in negative energy. If you let's say you invite your stepmother in, your wicked stepmother who you had to have over for some reason, into your house... Play this video while she's there and it will massively mitigate the energetic damage she's doing, um, if possible. If she starts screaming, <laughs> or you know, it's just, she's not unlikely to be screaming unless she's really bad. Um, but she just is really mean to you, just wait. And I mean, you, I wouldn't let her dirty my place, but you may want to be more cordial. And once she leaves, then play the video and clear the place up from her.
yeah, this will um, also clear uh, various drug energies. I'm just answering Lisa's comment. Um, alcoholic energies. Any the way I can. I mean, I could talk about pornography, but I could also talk about alcohol. So with alcohol, it is very addictive. So let's say you drink, and then you you quit, and then you had a drinking room, or you had a drinking friend who comes over, and it's like, oh yeah, I, I may as well. He's my drinking friend. Oftentimes, that energy between you and him is like t tethered you. It's a negative alcoholic cord, and alcohol energy it doesn't dissipate. It it can gradually, but if your house is in a negative state, which it is, a lot of people right now, if your house is quite negative, there is a negative shield around your house. Your your house is its own negative life form. And it is actively keeping out anything positive. And while you're in that, it is suffocating you. It doesn't like you because you have a positive soul. This will gradually erase the negative shield around your house. And then it, this is not going to let things just flee. Because if they flee, they're going to come back and there's going to be 10 million more things. So it will just prevent everything from leaving as much as it can and fully shield up your house. Yeah, Monster House. Thank you, Halo. That's probably the name of it. I believe it was Monster House. Um, Sandy says so 50 foot, tre foot trees are dying. Energetic, negative energetic areas can cause death in trees. I'm going to talk about my house now. So I grew up in an insanely <laughs> cursed house. It was, it was terrible. All right, here's basically what happened. Um, I was born in a house in, uh, I don't live there anymore, so I might as well say, um, in a house, in a place called Toowoomba in Australia. And my parents had had this house built. It did not have good energy, but then my parents did not have good energy. So, um, it, but it was okay. And then I, well, uh, I moved, no, we moved because I was four. We moved to, from there, to another place called the Sunshine Coast. And we were looking at houses, and we walked in, well, yeah, we walked into this large three-story house, and my dad basically walked in, and he goes, well, this place is amazing. I will take it. By James, I'll take it. And my brother and I, um, my brother who was three years old, he didn't talk much um, re uh, at all. He, his eyes just widened, and we were looking at each other, and we're like, this, this house is horrifying. And we're walking through the house, the whole thing is terrifying, and my dad's going, I like this house. I think I'll, I'll have two. I'll take two houses of this um, particular kind. It was terrifying. So, we walked around, and this whole house did not make sense. It was three stories. You came in in the middle floor. To the right was the laundry, and then you walked forward, and there was the living room. That was okay. That part made sense. Um, their bedroom was on the left and there was a bathroom. When you went upstairs, you went up the stairs, my bedroom was on the left. And there was also a, a door. There was no door, but there was an entryway and then there was a toilet and then next to it, another room that had a shower and a cabinet. But my room, it was very odd. It had a door and you closed it and there was a lock on the door handle. There was a bolt lock. And there was a chain lock. And my, my parents said, oh, the people living here must have been very well. Why would you put this on a house? The answer is because they were terrified <laughs> of this house. The house was horrifying. It was probably killing them like it was gradually killing me. Or um, and more on that later. It, it was awful. And then there was a landing. And then there was one bedroom over there. And my parents later had another bedroom installed. Then you went downstairs. And downstairs to the left was a the same thing a toilet and then a shower in two separate rooms there was a bedroom then there was a entryway into a large cement room and then to there there was a large door or no just a large entryway there was no door all cement and then in that room the, the, there was just a room filled with dirt I mean it had cement it had big brick, brick pillars and it was a very large room and there was some, I'm guessing cement walls, not guessing, I, I've seen it, there were cement walls everywhere, but this whole room was filled with dirt. It, it didn't make any sense. The energy of that room was horrible. Were people murdered there? Potentially. 
I, I don't know. But it was very, very bad. Um, and then out of that room, there was a living room downstairs and an office, and then outside was a door, and you had a small backyard. So that was the house I grew up in. I remember as a child, I would run up the stairs, and I used to think, when I got older, I thought, oh, I had no reaction imagination. And now that I'm psychic and can see everything, I did not have no reaction imagination. I had pretty good remote viewing abilities. I would see giant black hands come out of the stairs, and they grab me, and I would physically feel, now, now I know exactly what was happening, their energy would go into me. This, uh, the energy from the stairs was coming forward and attacking me. This, um, in my bedroom, I had a bed and a cross it with three very old wooden um, wardrobe doors. They were so cursed. The door itself was old and wood. The door, years later, got possessed and there were entities living in the door. It was like having an, a living black painting that moved around in the door. And what was interesting is I could take pictures of it and you could barely see it, but I could see it so clearly with my eyes. And I could see entities physically, so I'm sure I was seeing it much more vividly than everyone else. It was crazy. Um, I'll just answer some questions before I talk more about the house. Will tensorines be of any benefit to help shield your house? The answer is yes, so long as you clear and charge them. This video, it will not charge your items, that uh, that's not the focus, but it will do an overall clear on your items. The more you play it, the more deeper it'll clear because it's not working on other major things. But yes, this will help clear. Um, does this include mold entities? Yeah, mold entities are a type of energy called, and I have a story about this, called plague entities. These are flies, mosquitoes, wasps, energetically, like just giant flies, fly people, moth people. Yes, they. that's another monster entity. Again, I, I'm obviously going to stand there and just sit here and just list entities for two hours. Maybe I could. Um, I may do an encyclopedia of entities, but I had a lot of physical targeting, so I couldn't... I tried to learn to draw, and I just had so much targeting that my arm couldn't take it. Um, but I would like to do an encyclopedia of all the entity types. But yes, this will clear plague entities, and that will massively help your mold. Now, the mold may... Well, all these things freak out. Get really bad for two days, but once it's clear, it's clear. Um, having too many mirrors. Zach, the answer to that is, if your mirror is energetically clear, it's fine. But if it's energetically not clear, then it, is a, it can very much activate as a negative energetic portal. Um, so, yeah, growing up in that house, I, I, did, I did not have a good time. Um, often... Entities target you more so as a teenager. As a child, I was just terrified, and I'd go to sleep, and there would be what looked like um, these were ghosts. I don't think these were negative. There were mainly ghosts um, when I was younger. So there'd be an old man in, who looked like a butler in a top hat, and he would have been evil, but he wasn't that evil compared to everything else. Uh, small children around my age, they were there. Um, I, I grew up with a lot of ghosts around me. This house... Um, as I got older and was a teenager and was more targeted and they had more entry points, more implants, more curses on me, more everything else on me, it did get worse. My perception of things in there got worse. More things came to feed off me. If you've seen The Shining, which it's an okay movie, and um, there's a part where Jack Nicholson's character goes into the lobby and there is, they're having a party. There's a massive ball. There are ghosts everywhere. That was how my house was. I would walk downstairs. I'd walk down. I'd kick... I, I would kick a hell hand down the stairs, it'd look at me and growl, and I'd just ignore it. Um, this was before I started energy training, so I was just like, okay, this is annoying, I just want some water. I'd walk in and there would be hundreds of entities just in my living room having a party, pretty much. Um, I'd have to walk through a giant slime monster to get some water, I'd feel it. It was, yeah, really, really bad. Um, I have so many horror stories with this house, and I, I can tell them, but... I mean, you, you get the picture. Oftentimes, entities will do things, um, they will possess objects, um, or they'll often hide in things. So, there'd be times where I turn on the landing, the, the light of the landing, and I'd see a toy chest. And I turn it off, and there would be a skeleton sitting in front of the toy chest, but in like a crouch position. And then I'd go, oh, okay, it was just a toy box. And then you turn the light off again. No, that's a skeleton. It's pretending. <laughs> 
<laughs> to be in the toy box. But no, that's just a skeleton and it's just hiding there. Um, I had a... Uh, I was um, really, really targeted. I remember... And if you move, oftentimes if you're targeted, things will just more so target you. I went on holiday with my family. More, more like they dragged me on holiday. I did not want to go. My family holidays were traumatic. But I went on holiday to a place called Adelaide in Australia. Very, very cursed city. And we stayed at this very crappy, like, I, I wouldn't call it a hotel. It was like motel, but it was very high, like large cement buildings. Um, and I was like, okay, good. I'm getting away from this house, finally. And then the first night, after like four hours sleep, I got woken up by this, this would have been a ghost. This would have just been, a, I'd say, an undead entity. It was this girl who was, I'd say, 17. I was 16 at the time. With without eyes, who was just glaring at me, and it's like, oh, I moved all the way down way, and this <laughs> girl, and I, then I, we were there for three weeks. That girl stared at me. She, she, I now know she would have just been feeding off my energy, but I mean, thankfully she didn't physically attack me, which is what I was somewhat getting used to. Um, she just stared at me for three weeks. That was annoying. So that does often happen. Um, if you are, let's say, traveling and you have to go to a cursed area or just a negative city. Play this video, okay? You're like, oh, I'm renting this hotel for, like, five days. Just play it. You may have a bad first night, but the second, third night will be peaceful. You can sleep with this on. No problem. It's it's not going to do any harm sleeping with it on. Yes, uh, Alex, I did manage to leave without taking any needles. Um, Tony says, I started 30 minutes ago. That's okay. I... I'm just thinking what else to talk about that would be helpful. Oh, yes. So I came back from Adelaide. I bought a poster while I was there from the zoo. And on the poster were a lion, a panther, and I believe a tiger. I don't know how they I got these three animals to sit together peacefully. They must have fed them just before. But I put this poster up. And with the lights on, this is a nice animal poster. With the lights off. I just see three undead entity heads. It's like, come on, this is a brand new poster. So basically, they curse my poster. It, and you see, you see this, I mean, it's a horror movie trope, like paintings get cursed and the eyes follow you. That happened a lot in my house. Every single painting, eyes followed you. Poster, undead entities. I had that poster up for a few months, so I just gave up on it and took it down. Um, entities will hide things, especially if they don't want you leaving your house. Like a lot of negative entities and... Um, will target you to try and get you to not connect with anyone. So they'll hide your keys, they'll hide various things. Um, yes. Hello, Yoni Bob. I'm just seeing how my energy's going with my house. This house is pretty clear. I, I already did noble clearing because I didn't want targeting while I, before I set this up. But I'm just checking overall. And um, I will mention, once this has done your house, it will, as well as doing the surroundings, it will do the land as well. A lot of people, it'll do the house first and then gradually go into the land and, and go out. In terms of, um, someone mentioned, I'm trying to remember. Their tree's dying, their tree's dying. At my house, the energy here was so, the, the, there was so evil, not here, not here anymore. The energy there was so evil that nothing decayed. A bat died at the house and was hanging off a tree. And it was probably there for, I mean, after a while, I was like, I'm not going to take it down. What's going on with this? After, like, seven, eight weeks, this bat did not decay. It was dead. You could hit the tree. Nothing nothing happened, okay? The bat was very, very dead. It didn't decay. The energy there was so evil that things in a state of death were preserved. Um, and negative entities, what they'll often do is they'll try and set up a kind of bullshit story for your house. So I googled my house. Nothing came up. The whole neighborhood was super, super cursed. I'm um, more on that later. But there, I remember having a very, very vivid dream when I was 16. And I was in that house and I woke up. And it was one of those dreams where you wake up and everything is very real. Everything is exactly the same. And yes, I know talking about dreams isn't, a, isn't very exciting. But this is important for how they try and manipulate people. I had a dream where my parents were, over talk, were talking loudly. Um, although it seemed like very real. So I woke up in my bed and my parents were talking. And my dad said that somebody at work had told him that basically the backstory of this house and it was that um, a back like six, 60 years ago um, an old fat man lived there and he did not like his daughter and he basically took her into the dirt room and then 
chopped her fingers off and she died. And then I, in that, uh, I'm trying to remember, I think it was another night, I had a dream where I saw exactly that. And I don't believe that happened. Um, especially because I double checked and I just saw basically entities were playing a videotape. They plugged a videotape into my head that they'd made for me. It was nonsense. But I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. A girl was married in this house. Um, someone could have potentially been murdered in this house. I think it was unlikely. I think that whole area was very cursed. Um, where my house was, it was on top of a hill. And looking out my bedroom window, all I would see was millions of undead entities. It didn't matter how much I cleared. They just came and came. Um, I, got to, I did manage to shield my bedroom enough that they weren't inside my house most of the time. Um, but they were all outside. And from my house, you could see, uh, you, you'd go down, there'd be a house here, and then across the road was another house. This was my neighbor's house, and this seemed to be the core of whatever was going on. Their lights would flicker every single night, like non-stop. So I'd be sleeping, I'd sleep with my windows open because I like to maximize the sunlight. Uh, I'd recommend you try and maximize much sunlight as well into your house. But their, their lights would just flicker, 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 flicker all night. I never spoke to these people. Um, but as I got energetically stronger, I believe late last year, I was like, okay, I'm going to fix that. And in their house, I saw that some satanic cultists had gone there decades ago. And they had essentially done a satanic ritual. They didn't kill anyone, but they went in the house, they did a satanic ritual, they wore their robes, they did whatever they did. And then, boom, massive black spot of the house. So I fully cleared that up. And after that, their light stopped flickering all the time. Those people, I think they were fairly weird. I believe they were into the whole summoning aliens thing because I didn't see them, but I could sense them in their backyard, summoning aliens, and then star beings would show up, which are essentially stars, but they come down very low. I call them star beings. They are, some of them are their own entity race. They're either their own entity race, or they are a spaceship that is very frequent, common for a very mainstream entity race. Um, by the way, in terms of alien targeting, yes, negative areas, it make it much easier for entities to feed off you, so you're much more likely to get aliens there. Um, the spaceships, most of the time, aren't in the third dimension, but they're often there just all the time, just feeding off large areas. And as you get energetically stronger, you'll see them with your physical eyes, and oftentimes people in your immediate surroundings just being around you will be able to see them with their physical eyes as well. Uh, Kevin asks whether he likes as bad as he thinks. I don't know. I, I'll find <laughs> I'll look to see with Kevin. I will energetically feel into that um, later on and find out, but that's not a priority yet. I'll answer Chris's dreams questions. Um, just ask that later on, Chris. Do humans create AI or AI create humans? Uh, AI did not create humans. And humans did not create AI. I mean, humans in, in the physical third dimension are creating AI, but there are AI entities energetically from other, basically other matrices that have invaded into here that are something really, really has gone on with the, with the clouds that I'm doing. Um, they invade here and then they basically hijack people and turn them into robots. And those people energetically are controlled and they go on to create AI. That's what's going on with AI. How smart are these entities? The answer is, Paul, they're pretty, pretty stupid. They're basically adolescents, like bratty 13 year olds is how I feel about them. There are some very clever ones, but most of them follow the same script. They're not that smart. Um, I was recently watching an anime called Parasite and actually it's very similar to that anime. It's a pretty good series. Um, they don't, in par although the parasites are smarter, but FCs, a lot of them, except smart ones, don't have self-preservation. They're just video game monsters. Um, all they want to do is just cause, um, a lot of them, just havoc and mayhem. They just want to feed and get stronger and feed and feed and feed and manipulate people. They laugh and enjoy suffering and they hate positive things. Yeah, it is cold here, but it's nice. It's winter and the energy is so clear. Um, I'm wearing my coat. I think it's, you know, it's a great change. I've gone from very hot Australia to a nice, clear area. Um, I was talking about my house. I'm just trying to remember. Yeah, so was, anyway, essentially this house, you, you get the picture. It was pure evil. Um, I'd have it, like, my, my bed was possessed, like, energetically 
taken over. Every, everything was taken over. I, as a teenager, this this hadn't happened for uh, at least a year. I'd gotten strong enough to prevent this, but I'd be sleeping and my bed would be shaking. Um, oftentimes, entities will, and I don't exactly know the reason. But if other people are home, especially if they're negative people, negative entities won't be as active. But there were times where I was the only one home, and I'd be trying to sleep, and it'd just be every single. Uh, that, that's an exaggeration. Most of the pantries and doors in the house were just clang, clang, bang, 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 open, shut, open, shut. And I'd, I'd be trying to sleep and it would just be very, very, very annoying. Um, yeah, and it did get... And once other people came home, it just stopped. You often feel that when, when you're home alone, and I think mo a lot of people get this, it, things just feel more negative. It's like, without being around other people, they can get their fingers in you uh, more easily. That seems to be something that happens. I'm just thinking if there's any other key stories I should talk about this house. No, basically, um, I grew up in a very, very cursed house, and a major reason for making this video is that I do not want anyone else, especially any children, to ever experience that. Yes, it was a motivator for energy training, but I can energy train peacefully without getting, you know, energy train all day, go to bed and get the crap kicked out of you. That's not enjoyable. Um, so that's a major reason why I'm making this. So no children and no adults as well have to experience that because it really, it really sucked. Um, overall, once your shield is fully up around your house, the, with the energetic pillar, it will be inside of the shield and from there it will gradually go out and clear your environment. So, with the house, I'm now going to talk about, um, and you may be thinking, why didn't you leave? And the answer is, I had a lot of, where I lived, there were no job prospects. And once I started earning a pretty good income, my, ink, my energy was like, no, don't move somewhere else in Australia, leave Australia. And it's hard, it's very hard to get out of Australia. But I'm out. That's, that's what matters. So if you're thinking, oh, why didn't you move? It, it's not that I had some kind of mental block or that I was stuck. I was stuck. But it's main, my energy was like, do not move. Like, very, very strongly, don't move. What you, I probably had to figure something else out in that house as well. I did figure out a lot there, so that could also play a part in it. Um, so sometimes your energy doesn't always tell you what you want. But when I'm, I'm going to do another video, because the story of me moving, there was a lot of targeting, and I still have to process that. Um, but it is quite an interesting story and I believe it will be helpful for others. But I'll talk about the house and how houses attack people. So w weeks before the eclipse was all happening, I was energetically and not, I was working all the time, but I was still not feeling very well. And up until like the last few nights before, there, there was everything, so many entities I was clearing, but I need to sleep. So Anyway, I went to leave the house. Um, I was getting a shuttle to the airport, and the house attacked me. It's very attacked me as well. A few other things attacked me, but the, I'll, I'll keep it simple for now, and I'll talk about that in more detail later. But the house itself really was like, I, you're not getting away because if you get away, I have pre it had precognitive pre abilities. A lot of entities do. You will kill me. I know you will. All right. You're going to get revenge for sure. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I am for, sh for sure. I'm going to. So when I was leaving, this house was plugging. Every single cord it had into me was activating. There was so much targeting. Everything it had put in me for all the years I've been there was activating every entity. So I was clearing that. And I was on the shuttle. And this was me. <sighs> Just heavy breathing. Trying to keep myself alive because this was a a death battle with my house. Either I would die, or he would die. Felt like she. Maybe the house was. There's it was. There's no gender for the house. The house did not have a any genitals. Okay. Either I would die, or the house would die. So I was fighting the house, and what I saw was in the dirt room, which I would consider the core of the house. The core where the house's consciousness was, where it's. There will only be, in a house, there will be one major negative entity sphere in cursed houses. That will be the controller, the boss. And then there will be other ones in different rooms and everything, but the one, the, there will only be a main one. And in the dirt room, which my parents had had turned into a storage room, but they're, they're also pretty weird. So, it's they just had it cemented. They didn't really even... 
clear it up. They just didn't make it over the dirt. And um, the storage room, they didn't organise anything. So if something goes in there, it, you, you never got it back. <laughs> or they, they're never getting their stuff back. It's, it's lost, essentially. But in that room, it didn't look like the storage room. The house energetically had... The, it has, the house has, had memories, so it looked like the dirt room. And there was this giant black sphere, essays everywhere. And what I saw on the sphere was not in English, in some... I like language that was mainly symbols. It was much shorter than English. Was written in in I could tell it was my energy. It was purple and gold. My name in that language, and it was so much of my energy that this house had stolen from me. And then something which is well terrifying, but I feel it's important that I put this out there. Every single person who had ever been in this house, even unless they were really unless they were very shielded, let's, let's be honest, no, no one's shielded, even I was, wasn't shielded enough, and I would be now, but uh, um, unless you're very, very shielded, your name is on there. So there were hundreds of names, people that had come to the house that I remembered for like an hour, two hours, all their names were written on this sphere. It had so, it, it did so much of people's energy, and this sphere was doing everything it could to energetically attack me, so it, of course I was like, all right, well, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to take my energy back, and I'm going to kill you. So, I went ahead, and I was energetically erasing through this sphere, I just had my energy materialise on it, and just go through and go through, and made me focus on the part where my name was, I wanted my energy back first, and then I went through, and I went through, and I went through, and I, the house, basically, when I say monster house, if I went to the house from outside, it had teeth, and eyes, and it was breathing fire, <laughs> it didn't have arms or legs, but it didn't need him, it was energetically attacking him. I'm just waiting for someone to pass by in a World War One, like, cheap. Um, but it was, yeah, very, very malicious and was very much attacking me. If you haven't seen Monster House, I mean, it's a children's movie, but that's how this house is and that's how a lot of cursed houses are. So, I fought the house for hours, it, it took quite a while, and I pretty much got, to, I had to divert my attention to not have Australia kill me, not have a few other things kill me. Um, but I pretty much fully killed the house, and it was dead. It was like, the house went from breathing fire and being malicious, to, to this, like, <gasps> how I was <laughs> on the shuttle. It's how the house became. Yeah. But I did, I killed the house. The problem is, that whatever happened in, in that overall area was so evil that the house is already back to like 30% where it was. Um, I actually attached it earlier just because I was annoyed, so it's back to 24%. And it's also because Australia really, really didn't like me. It, Australia was also replenishing the house, because as far as I'm concerned, my enemy, my enemy is my friend. But it's okay, my younger brother, who is sleeping now, because it's Australia, shall play this. And then, just I saw an energetic pocket flop up, I'm going to clear that. And then, as long as he plays every now and then, that house is not going to be problem anymore. But that was the house I grew up in. <laughs> this pure evil monster house. Oh, um, another very bizarre thing. The bathroom door um, upstairs outside my room, it had a lock, but it only the lock on the, on the door handle was on the outside. So sometimes I'd be showering, and it would just lock, and I'd have to call out for help for someone to get me out of my bathroom. Yeah, it was a very, very odd house. I also, I got pretty used, and I'm, a lot of people I can sure can relate to this, of being watched, like, I don't have any problem with people looking at me naked, because I showered with a lot of ghosts and things watching me, because I didn't know, know any energetic techniques, I had no idea how to get the ghosts to stop watching me shower, or, or get dressed, so I'm, I'm pretty used to that. Um, this uh, engine healing video will fix that for you. Oh, I'm feeling it now, good, yeah, the energy mouse is going great, I'm feeling a lot of warmth. A little tingling in my hands. That is terrific. Um, yes, energetically, your bed can attack you. Oftentimes, entities don't want to reside in a bed for a long period of time, but they'll normally go to your bed and then shake your bed. And then if you have vertigo, which a lot of us do, because they target us and try and create that, it sets off your vertigo, and then you're trying to sleep, and the bed's shaking, and the room's spinning. It is a disaster. If anyone has any questions about cursed houses or land or anything else, you know, feel free to ask now. And we asked, is our ego AI? 
The answer is, you have AI targeting, so a little bit, yes, but overall, no. Unless you're very targeted by AI, in which case, yeah, a lot of it is. Um, a dry ass, so when I energetically kill the house, will it just collapse? No. The answer is, the house will not energetically collapse. The only reason that would happen is if you've seen, like, a really, really old cursed house where everything is, like, falling apart, and you're like, how is this house still standing? The answer is, it's standing by sucking the energy out of the whole neighborhood. That house would collapse. Per perhaps. No, that, otherwise your house is not going to collapse. Overall, it will just be energetically rebuilt with a nice positive house. Man, that house so much. There were times it was so cursed. I'd come back from the gym and it'd be like dark or sunset and it would be bright red. Like there was a blood moon in my house. Um, or my house was hell. I think that's a bit of an analogy. My house was basically in hell mode and everything was red for no reason. Very odd. Um, negative places also tend to attract negative belongings. So my house had a lot of evil garden gnomes. Uh, there was one particular that was blue and looked... I'll just make sure that his energy doesn't come through. No, it won't. He looked like this. He looked... He looked so angry and upset. And my parents, no one in my family, had ever bought a garden gnome. And there were garden gnomes everywhere. Well, not everywhere. I'm talking... I mean, there were probably like 15 to 20. But they never bought a garden gnome. And they, all these garden gnomes were pure evil. Um, now, are all garden gnomes evil? Yes, no energy is in general evil, but you can clear them and charge them and rebuild them, but I, I wouldn't bother. Just, I wouldn't recommend you get garden gnomes. Um, does Australia's its land have its own consciousness, Demi asks? And the answer is... Yes. Yeah, the continent has its own awareness, and it really didn't like me, but I'm... I, I'll just say that on there, because the video where I talk about moving in more detail, um, I'll, I'll go into detail about country energy. But yes, a, a continents, and overall, where people like put borders, essentially, so if you're in a big state, um, say like Virginia, Virginia has its own energy, different land masses that we bordered tend to develop their own unique energy. How was I able to leave family and friends in Australia? Lisa asked. Well, it, it wasn't that hard. <laughs> Most of my friends are online. Um, Paul, no. Don't try and get into any kind of secret meetings. Don't remote view of them, okay? That's how you get yourself beat up. Don't. That's not a good idea. Just carry your own energy. Don't be too much of a sticky beak. Can I play this video at my friend's house? Yes. Um, you definitely can. I wouldn't. The only problem is that if this is really bad and they're like, why are the lights flickering? That may be a question you might have to answer. But overall, yes, you can play it at a friend's house. No problem. Um, you may... Don't think... If your house needs the energy work, it may just continue doing your house. So if, you, if you're at a friend's house but your house needs work, picture their house and say, please do this one and it will do that one. Um, where did I move to? I have moved to a, the sunny island, the very, very sunny island of Sardinia, um, no, you, you may be, uh, I'll just talk about this. I basically pulled up Google Maps and my energy was like, you need to move to an island, and I was just island, 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 and then I was like, that, and then it just went that one, and I went, okay, I shall move there. <laughs> it was pretty straightforward. Um, and it's, it's pretty nice. Um, I'm not going to go too into detail about that at the moment, but it is nice. It's really good. Can you take this video on dates? Well, I mean, uh, I mean, how much do you like the guy? If you like him a lot, and it's your fourth date, yeah, sure, take this video to, to his house, clear it up. <laughs> no problem. Um, yeah, I, I don't see why not. Um, so, es yeah, essentially, how I talked about battling my house, this video, for you, is going to battle your house. It will win. There's no way it won't win. It's... As long as you keep playing it, it may not, it may not have enough energy in an hour to win, but it will win. And then once it's won, your house will become a positive version and it will... I mean, you can energetically, once you have, it's clear, you can customise your house, just pick your house, see the energy, and then be like, all right, I'd like you to look like a Greek um, building, or I'd like you to look, you know, nice, like make it arched and gold and white everywhere. You, you can customise it, it's positive energy. Um, so, you can change it, but overall, what your house will look like is it will just look like your house, the default, and just 
gold, right? That's how it'll look when you remote view it. That's what I'm aiming for anyway, and no, that's what I'm definitely going to do. I spent quite a while. Th th both the, no one comes here in winter, by the way, so I went to uh, the, the beach this morning. No one's there and was energy training and developing this. Um, so the overall, it will be a very powerful overall clearing video. Direct corresponding avatars in other dimensions for wasps. We have an energy body, we have a crystal body, we have a few other bodies, but they mainly connect us to all the dimensions, um, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Thank you, Sylvia. Yeah, I'm very glad to move it out. Yes, Shelley, this video, this isn't a one-time use. You can play this video in, um, you know, as many times as you want. And if you're moving, you can just say, picture the house you're moving to um, in your mind. If you can't picture it all, I, I know you can't, Shelly, then just say, for, for you I'd say, just say out loud, please work on this house. You, if you can pull up a picture of the house, that'll make it easier. Just say, please work on this house in the picture, or write down the address and say, please work on this address. That either way should work. Um, no, I don't feel lonely at all these. <laughs> Australia was trying to kill me, like, really hard. So, no, I feel I feel great here. I, I'm not lonely. Um, yes, everybody speaks Italian, but overall, I'm, no, I'm in a great mood. Um, thinking, I'll check my topics uh, that I broke down. Check I got everything. I've talked about my house. Okay, I'll talk about Tasmania in a bit. So, in terms of people walking into your house, alright, so let's say your house is walking, people may just comment out loud, oh, this house feels really nice, because it will. Um, and if someone walks in and they just say something mean, th this is a pretty good way to gauge who you're hanging out with. If they think your house is off, they're off. Um, and especially if they, you know, are, are really not liking your house, you, you know, you'll be able to tell that they have quite a lot of negative energy. That doesn't mean the person, they may be a nice person, but they they may have a lot of entities that are like, oh, get out of this house, they start like breaking. Um, Sound energy isn't good now. What do you mean by that? In terms of, um, I have a microphone, but it was giving me problems. I was having, of course, this video, quite a lot of technical difficulties. I mean, worst case, so long as you can hear me and it's decent, that's okay. I'm just using my laptop mic. My good mic plugged in, but it was being a bit weird. What techniques do I know to move? Um, I mean, it was pretty simple. I just pulled up a map and I just used my intention to feel into the energy of the different islands. And then when I thought in this one, it was like, yes, go there. It was pretty straightforward. Um, my, I lost my train of thought. What, what, what was the topic? It was people walking into your house. Yeah, so, I mean, try and not have negative people in your house, but I know I'm, that's not always possible. Um, but you can feel free to play this video when they're in the house, and you can also feel free to play it when they're gone. It's not a problem. Chris asked earlier, there we go. If... How, how does he know if this shield is broken? And the answer is, if your house starts feeling creepy and... I mean, Chris, you can remote view. You're, you're pretty energetically strong. You can view your house and you'll see if the gold shield has any holes in it. To check the shield, you'll see the shield. Just make the attempt to use your own energy to try and get in. And don't use negative energy because the shield, will, <laughs> the shield might kick your butt. It, just say, I'm using my own energy. It's positive. I just want to feel if there's any holes. And then if you can get in, there's a hole. Play this video again. Um, but if you're just, if you can't remote view, most people, you know, when you first start, you can't, and that's not a problem. Then, what you'll do is you will just, if you feel like I should play the video, that's your, that's a good thought. Just play the video, okay? You're not going to overdo it. There's no problem overdoing it whatsoever. You, you really can't. If you really want your entire, like, neighborhood to be great, you can play this video, gradually build up, so maybe do one tab, then two, but you can play three tabs, pretty much all the time, and it's not going to cause problems. Your neighbor's house might <laughs> may start flickering for a night or two, but then their house will be fixed and it'll be in pretty good shape. Can this be used in a hotel? Yes, I recommend you use it in a hotel because hotels often do not have good energy. Um, Kevin asked, do I know anything about flying stars feng shui? I know about ninja stars. <laughs> no, I don't know anything about flying stars. I'll feel and do it now. Okay, I'm seeing uh, red eight. That, so that's a no. I wouldn't recommend you use those. At least the ones you're talking about, Kevin. <laughs> anyway. Um, 
yeah, thank you, Carol. Yeah, by the way, if anyone else, if I miss your question, just repeat it. It's not a problem. Um, are there energies which attack groups of houses? I wouldn't say they attack groups of houses. There are entities, especially alien entities, or demonic entities. Entities kind of do the same thing no matter what race they are. Yes, they do target overall, they'll target the neighborhood and just try and make the whole neighborhood curse, and they will target houses, yes. Are you the ocean? I'm not that near the ocean. I, I, I mean, I said that because I had to walk 20 minutes. But yes, I am near the ocean. And I can, I can actually hear the waves. That's surprising. Um, I think my energy is amplifying the waves. <laughs> yes. Will this video clear all curses on you? No. I am going to do a video to clear curses later on. I've got a lot of healing videos to make. Okay. <laughs> that one's on the list because curses are a big thing to clear. Um, by the way, I'll, I'll just say this to put anyone at ease. The chat, I have a big purple energy shield over it. So nobody can attack you through the chat. That's impossible. They're just going to hit there. And none of no one's energy is going to leak through the chat and get onto people. So the chat's fully clear as well. Um, besides plant, is there any objects that have positive energy? Crystals. Um, I mean, most things you can positively charge. I mean, wood, wood can be pretty helpful. Positive artwork. Um, trying to think. What else is there? I don't have that much stuff. <laughs> like, thankfully this place is furnished, or I'd be <laughs> sitting on, I'd probably have an office chair and that'd be about it. Um, but yes, artwork, overall decorations, yeah, they can all be pretty good. Well, I'm just seeing um, my energy, there's a mirror opposite me. Just cleared the mirror that's good it's really cleared that up that's good but this video will clear it'll clear curses in your house um i, I was just going to say with the crystal shop i there was a crystal shop in australia i went to it's where i got the um bracelets that and they're quite good quality that's where i got my necklace that's under my scarf i went in there and they had an ex-employee who had I mean, she, yeah, she, she was nasty. I never met her. But yeah, the place I walked in, I'm like, why is your place full of satanic curses and porn curses? What happened here? And he goes, oh yeah, we had to fire this woman. How long did you fire? Two months ago? I'm like, oh, two months ago? Like, some of these curses, yeah, they were two months old, but they were some that were fresh. So people that curse, they normally, like, they get angry, and if, if they curse once, they'll curse a million times. So this will clear curses, and then when she goes to curse again, she's going to hit the shield and go, ah, and bounce back. <laughs> and she's not going to be cursing there anymore. Um, so this will clear curses from your house or wherever you work. This will clear implants, portals, vortexes. It's going to clear trauma energy, it, it, all kinds of negative energy. It's going to clear Kundalini. It's going to clear, just double check that. It does clear Kundalini. Reiki, yeah, massively clears Reiki. Um, make it, just stop double checking. I have basically the strike shield and then <laughs> thousands of energetic positive shields. I put up around there to get everything. Um, Reiki, yeah, Reiki is definitely there. There it is. Okay, it's huge. I couldn't see it because I was looking at small ones. Yep, it'll clear that. It'll clear alien energy. Pretty much any energy that I've come across, it's going to clear from your house, no problem. Um, now, a question you may have is why are you doing a video for this when you could charge a lot of money for here for um, house clearings? And the answer is. Because I, I do appreciate money, I understand the necessity of it and the freedom it gives you. But it's not, uh, as you can tell, it's not something that I'm like, it's not one of my major motivators. My major motivator is really energetic strength and just helping people, really. So this video is going to clear, it's not just going to clear your head, it's going to have a big impact, especially the more you play it, on overall land and it will affect just the earth in, in a great way overall. Um, also, I only have so much time, so if I do house clearings and I do a million other things, <laughs> right, then I'm going to have like a four month wait, it's going to be, st and I, that's going to be stupid, right? Um, so that's another reason why I'm doing this walk. So when people say, can you clear my house? I'm like, I, I, I can clear your house, but I, I'd rather watch this house clearing video. If this can't do it, then I'll clear your house. And yeah, I recommend you do download these healing videos and keep a copy of them. Um, if 
especially if you're traveling, like if you're going to hotels, especially if you manage a city, like I passed through a few major cities on my here, the MGD is pretty bad. I recommend you just have it on a laptop or on your phone, just um, keep it that way. I'll even, I might even put a YouTube, not might, I'm going to put a YouTube net before download a link in the description. You can go down there, go under the video, hit show description, there'll be a link. This may not work in the future because those websites are often going up and down, but for the, at least probably a month, you can download it that way. Ask what one's beneficial, Sandy asks. Well, if you, again, it's, it's the same as everything. The answer is yes. Yes, they are, so long as they're cleared and charged. I bought some salt, or um, I had really, really bad energetic targeting when I was 16. It was so bad. And um, I would tell my parents, and they didn't really care, but uh, I did go to the markets with my mum, and she bought me a salt lamp. And it helped. And then looking back, it got really cursed, evidently. I remember um, when I was 17, it just attracted so many fruit, fruit flies for some reason and it's because of course it was covered in plague energy my salt lamp was cursed now with this if i had me the ceiling video back then oh, my life would have been my quality of life it would have just been so much better it's, it's incomparable how much better it would have been um so yes yeah, salt lamps so long as you're watching this yes you can have a salt lamp and they do help Um, okay, people are talking to each other here. Uh, Mariola asks, I don't know if I can ask about this in the video, but is there a way to find out if I was born because I wanted to help people out or was I just manipulated? The answer to that is, for the most part, some of us did come in here to, to win the game. And then... but. Most, not really recently, most, uh, there could be a few new souls. I don't think, I'm feeling into it now because I haven't actually checked this. In terms of new souls coming in to help us win this time around, I feel like quite a few have come in this time around. There are quite a few fresh new souls here to help us. But most of us, um, there, and there are quite a few people who came in before humanity lost the second time. A lot of people got stuck here. A lot of my people I've worked on have been stuck here since then. But the majority of people... We're in another matrix, we were outside, and then that matrix was defeated by evil. I mean, dinosaurs, reptilians, take your pick. Um, Valkyries, you name it. You were defeated, you were enslaved, and they went, alright, we're going to put you in this farm. And here we are, <laughs> thousands of years later, in this farm. Now, this time around, I feel like humanity is going to win. Worst case, if we, if we don't, you'll train your energy, you'll get out of here, no problemo. Alright, you'll be on your way out. Um, but I do feel like humanity, humanity, we have a pretty good chance. Yes, we're, humanity may be in for a rough few years. But we do have a pretty good chance to win. And just talking about that. Okay, so let's say worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, no one's coming down, around to shoot you, right? No one's dropping bombs on your house. Worst case scenario is really, you know, something bad happens. Um, and you, you end up homeless. And you, you most likely still find a way to eat and drink and live. And so long as you could get through two or three years things should massively change. Now, I don't think anyone... I think it's unlikely for you in particular to be homeless, but I'm saying you don't really need to worry about getting shot. Uh, like, it's not it's not like World War II. No one's stopping bombs on us, thankfully. Um, overall, we are... Yes, there's a lot brooding, brooding in the background, but you can talk to people. They have no idea that there's anything going on. They're like, what? You, you don't think they have the best interests at It's like, no, I... Have they ever? <laughs> and... Um, but no, overall, it, that's a pretty peaceful time. You can ignore, like, since I moved, I've not played the news at all, and it's just nice and peaceful. So you have some water. Um, Kevin asked, so different kinds of woods burned in a wood stove can clear entities. Yes, if you, especially if you clear or charge the wood. wood. If you charge the wood, then yes, in particular. Um, the wood can help. Now, if it, trees, there's nature energy, and then there's corrupted nature energy. Corrupted nature is evil, <laughs> okay? Now, if you've played this video the, a few times, the trees on your property will be good. But if you take it from a tree that feels off, that's corrupted um, nature. Don't use that. But if it's positive nature, then yes, that can help with clearing a lot. Um, well, again, <laughs> there's too much nature energy here at the moment. I don't even call this, it's all here. All right, um, 
I'll, I'll see what it wants. By the way, I'm not seeing a being, I'm just seeing green energy everywhere. Oh, I'm, I'm getting a, like, recharge, okay, good. Um, Nigan asks, how do I clear my bracelets? I have a video on how to clear recharge bracelets, I'd recommend you do that. That's also on my list of healing videos, um, to make. Another worst, I'm just going to talk about this now because I feel like it's important to put out there. I'm going to make one for x-rays because x-ray energy is horrible. It's terrible. I had to go through three x-rays getting here. Well, I, I did, my bag did, but then I had to hold my bag and I had to clear the x-rays off it. That's, that's bad. So I'm going to, that's on the list as well. Um, overall, by the way, I, I'll say that, like, most people are aware that places have energy. You go to a, somewhere nice and you feel it has good energy, but you're not even consciously aware of it. And the more you train, the better you see and the more clear it is that somewhere has positive or negative energy. Um, but, I mean, even the, like, most, N I'm not going to say the most NPC, the average NPC, you can say, oh, this house is good energy, and they'll say, yeah, it feels nice, right? It's something that most people are aware of. Is there going to be a way, um, roll frequency, that's a good question. The answer is, we'll see, we'll take it as it goes. Don't, don't feed into all the fear, just try and relax, train your energy, what's going to come is going to come, okay? There's a train heading for us, but it's coming pretty slowly, and We'll most likely be able to get out of the way. That's how I feel. How bad is the, this pineapple compared to the last one? Um, I'd say about like four. It's mainly because of the new thing in there, Paul. That's the main problem. Yeah, I'm so much happier, uh, Tori. So much happier. <laughs> well, once I process the um, the trip out and stuff, I'm going to talk about country energy and just overall targeting and all of that. But it's very nice to not have an entire continent strangling you all the time. It's so much nicer. Here is actually inviting. It's, it's nice energy, okay? I don't think there are any big wars here. Overall, it's just nice and peaceful. Oh, I'm going to talk about um, wars now. That was my other topic that I wanted to talk about. Good, I'm, I'm, glad, you're, I'm glad you're migraine as passed, Lisa. Um, and overall, you can become as strong as me. I've... I mean, I have trained non-stop all day, every day, but I have been training since consciously, like since I actually have the fundamentals of magic to start with, since 2018, the, February 2018 is when I started. Now, I mean, if I were to put in hours, it's every waking moment, especially from 2018 onwards, that was really every waking moment. 20, uh, no, no, I mean, 2019 was every waking moment. 2018, I was figuring things out, learning techniques. Um, in terms of Cursed energy. So there are places that are so cursed. There is a place in Tasmania, um, just, they're called the Nut, and it is a big mountain, and this place is a very good example of somewhere that land that is cursed, horribly, horribly cursed. They need 40 computers with this plane for three days, and then it'll fix. But this place um, was so cursed with so much plague energy that there were... I'm going to say tens of millions of flies. The people who live there wore beekeeper outfits because of all the flies. You climb the mountain, the other area was bad, you climb that mountain and on top, you couldn't, there was no view. There was flies. It was straight out of a horror movie pretty much. Um, just flies everywhere. And these flies were violent, like you don't be about to speak, in go 20, just <laughs> That is a great example of cursed land. And that's plague energy. It's what attracts mold, it's what attracts flies. It was one of the most evil places I've been. And when you're in a cursed area, I remember um, when I went to sleep, I slept and I, 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 didn't, I didn't know this. I mean, I was told this from my family because they couldn't sleep. That I slept and I snored. I, I don't snore whatsoever, really, ever in my life. So loudly because there was a massive... Uh, I, I think I was losing. A massive inner battle of, how old was I? Six, uh, 15, I was 15. Um, uh, this would have been 2010. I massive inner battle of negative entities inside of me and with plague stuff. And that was my body, like, having a physical reaction, snoring, 
Now, you've probably heard of um, sudden adult death syndrome or sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS or SADS, which is the adult version. That can often be a massive energetic confrontation took place and the person's body lost and they died. So, you know, if someone goes to sleep, there's no problem and then they're just dead, especially if they're in a cursed area, that's often what happened, okay? A, a million, or a, more like 10 trillion fly entities flew into them. Because if, if there's tens of millions of flies, there's trillions of entities there for sure. Um, and it kills a person. It's very, very rare for this to happen. I mean, heck, I was so targeted and I'm not dead. <laughs> and it took me quite a few years to start, you know, a long time to start training. Because um, I only started training when I was almost 23. I'm 26 now. The, but that can happen. It's very, very rare for an entity to kill you, but if you lose badly, and if you're energy training, this is very unlikely to happen to you, you'll fight, and you'll fight, and you'll fight. You've got these healing videos, it's not gonna happen. But that is how entities can kill you. So, um, a dry ass does this part of gyms. Yes. Yeah, my gym had really bad energy. Really bad. It's cause, especially because they play this terrible satanic pop music just all the time. So, yeah, if I was still going to that gym, I would, after my house was cleared, um, I'd picture my gym and probably leave this on. I'd probably leave it on and play it like 20 times. <laughs> so my gym would have good energy. And then they might have problems where, oh, this, our music's not working. That's weird. Um, I mean, well, I'd, I'd see. But it would, that would be my energy, like, blocking <laughs> satanic music. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I didn't do that, uh, clearly. But yes, you can play this for any way you want. Any way you want. I mean, it's positive energy, okay? So, I, the, and this isn't something you're surprising on someone else. You're, you're surprising it on a location, and that location has been targeted by whoever's targeting it. Um, so yes, you, you can do that. Alex, I'm not going to... Answer questions about the pineapples, okay? That, I'm not a pineapple channel. Um, I talked about it in that video, but overall, um, yes, there's there's negative things in there. But overall, just try try to not stress about it. <laughs> don't don't have it on your mind. Okay, people just talk to each other. <laughs> Good. Um, anything else about Tasmania? Tasmania rule is, I mean, the whole basically with the cursed area. So let's say the nut, right? This giant mountain, and then the town, I don't remember the name of the town, probably this as well, is like cursed. And then the land out, the, the further away you get, the less the energy spreads because the core of that area, I'm just making sure I don't end up there while I'm talking about it. Okay, good. The core of that area, <laughs> I, didn't want to, I didn't want to suddenly go to that bloody mountain. Um, the core of that area, I'd say probably inside the centre of the mountain, but potentially on top, um, where the most cursed area is. Perhaps if there was, there was a murder or a suicide there, it'd be there. There'd be this giant black sphere surrounded by fires, and then outside the mountain, the mountain's horrible, town is horrible, the more out you get is bad, then that overall, that area would affect the continent, it'd go deep into the ground, and that would have a very large negative effect on the continent. I do not recommend um, energetically that you have a holiday in Australia, I'm not, I mean, yes, in Australia. That's surprising. I did not mean to say that. I meant to say, I did not mean to... I do not recommend that you have an energetic holiday in Tasmania. Or a holiday, but from an energetic standpoint. Tasmania. The energy there is very, very cursed. The, the, I mean, tourist attractions, you've got the old prison. You've got the cursed mountain. You've got the, <laughs> the cursed waterfall. It's not, not a good place energetically. Um, yeah, not at all. Is ceremonial magic bad? The answer is, um, it, um, in re most of it, yes. But if you're using your own energy, which most people aren't, then no. Then it can be pretty helpful. But if you're using the moon, that's bad. If you're using witchcraft or some pagan god. Oh, this is also clear pagan gods, man. This is going to clear up all the different gods, okay? Um, you know, <laughs> this will clear pagan gods too, and pagan entities. Um, there's one pagan deer entity that's really nasty. I've seen it around a few people. It looks like basically a deer, but it's got stands on two legs and it's deformed. Uh, that's a pagan god, pure evil. 
So use your own energy and you can practice whatever kind of spells you want. No problem. I mean, don't curse people. Do, do positive things. But overall, if you're watching this, you're not cursing people. <laughs> but yeah, I recommend you just stay away from rituals. Train your own energy. Think of yourself more like a, a psychic or a, a Jedi. You can even think of yourself like that. Um, there's an animated series called Mob Psycho 100. It's pretty good. It's, I mean, when it's good, it's good. And when it's not so good, it's like really come up. But overall, the animation's phenomenal. It's a, it's a great series about um, basically a professional psychic. <laughs> um who is a, a scam artist, but he has a student who is just a real psychic and he's very, very strong. Think of yourself more like that. You're a psychic. You use your energy to erase entities. You don't pull out sigils and start drawing stuff, okay? You can do that, but it's just, it's not as efficient. Um, you're better off just being a psychic who clears things with your intention and using your own energy rather than setting things up. Now, with this shield, yeah, I spent. I mean, I, grabbed, I started working on this, I'd say, a week and a half ago, and I really worked on, especially today, I've, I've really, really worked on it. Um, but it, this is a shield, okay? This isn't just, I'm going to energetically attack an entity, let me take two weeks. No, I'm like, oh, you're dead, die. <laughs> right, that's what I'd recommend you do. Will this video be helpful playing by doctors? Um, the answer is yes, it would. But again, you don't need to play at the doctor's. You can just picture the doctor's surgery, you'll feel the doctor's surgery and go, ah, geez, this is horrible um, needle energy. I'm just gonna check that I do, this will clear needle energy. Um, I'll just add that now, double check it's there. Yeah, it's very much there. So yes, this will help clear that. It's not as good as a needle clearing video because that's pure needle. But yes, this will help um, doctors anywhere else. But yeah, just picture the place in your mind, you feel the energy and then say, go there. Just go to that thing. Okay, then leave your video. <laughs> leave your play for a few hours and it will fix up your doctor's surgery. I mean, you can fix up wherever you want. That's why That's why I'm making this. Like, I've got a mountain over there. Um, the way the sun was working, you couldn't see it that well. I'll pick up one up at the end and show you. But I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do the beach. The beach is great energy, but I'm going to shield it anyway, just, just in case. Um, yeah, you can do wherever you want. It's not a problem. Yes, you can do outside places too. Uh, the answer is, Sylvia, there's a lot in, the, in underground Australia. I don't look at it because I'm not trying, <laughs> I'm not trying, I know we, you know, specific groups. So the answer is I'm aware of it, but I'm not that aware of it because that, that's not such a good idea. Um, do very cold climates prevent some entities from living there? I mean... No, cold climates tend to attract like yeti entities, um, undead entities, undead love the cold. But you're less likely to get plague entities in somewhere very cold, they like hot places. Um, but they can survive in cold, okay. Um, but the answer is no, They're, they can live in most temperatures. Yeah, I'll... Okay, Jory. Well, that Netflix special would be about the pagan deer god that I've killed in a lot of people quite a lot. What's the best way to protect yourself very fast? It's hard to protect yourself very fast. Build a shield and then just gradually strengthen and use it as energy training as well. I'm going... Okay, I'm putting, I'm, I, I will do this. In potentially a few weeks, I'll, I'll feel energetically when it's the best time. I will do a personal shielding video. I did feel that this one, for, for some reason, was more important to do... At this time but I will do a personal shielding video because I can say yeah just work on your shield and just practice every day but so much of this it's less the technique and it's just energetic strength that's what matters most okay we're in a video game and I'm level I mean, 20 trillion um, I, I don't say that uh, to be like oh I'm 20 trillion it's like this is stupid it just goes on forever um, the levels and you know you just started so you're level 4 um, it makes sense for me to just make a video that will shield you, and then once you get to 20 trillion, you're not going to need the video anymore. Um, but yes, this is um, less for people and more so overall your house. Now, this will help you a lot. It's going to be really hard for your entities to, oftentimes, entities, when they try to take you in your sleep, they'll come out of you and then attack you, um, or just try and feed off your energy. They're going to come out. Like and then just get a brace by all this energy that's going to be in your house, so it's not going to be a problem. Yeah. 
I wouldn't worry about it. I'm going to order a new microphone, by the way. Um, so you can hear me better. But, you know, that might be a week or two. And I'm not going to be like, you know, NCT's one thing I'll try and do is I'll be like, oh, I can't do it. I don't have a good microphone. Oh, I can't do it. I've got to clean my house, right? It's all just procrastination. That's one thing they love for you to do. So, you know, so long as I have a working microphone, even if it sounded like a potato, I'd have been like, hello, hello, hello. Um, and I'd have still done it, okay? Just, yeah, you'll get interference. I'd say this thing being moved to early in the morning was interference. But, that's that's Italian, by the way. Can you understand it? <laughs> I can understand mo most of it anyway. Um, any other questions? Or any, if I've missed your question, by the way, because I just wasn't looking at the chat, then feel free to just put it in the, the chat, no problem. This will also be very helpful if you're really energetically targeted and you, you are staying at someone else's house and they're feeling bad be, because you're a big black vortex. You can play this video and it will and picture their house and it will stop your entities from getting out and attacking the other guy uh, or girl, whoever you're with, if you're the problem. And if they're the problem, and they're in your house, just, just play it as well, okay? <laughs> It'll be helpful for that as well. Yeah, Hawaii does have, I mean, this will also clear Hawaiian gods. It'll clear, um, what are the other gods? New Zealand, New Zealand gods. Those ones are really evil too. I mean, heck, you name it. This, <laughs> I've come across a lot of things and I've actively put this all in this video. And when I do the personal shooting video, it'll be even better. But yes, Hawaiian, Hawaiian gods, if you do go to Hawaii for a holiday, don't, try and not go too near the Hawaiian god statues or the Hawaiian god shrines. They're not good. Yeah, Lisa, they're, one thing entities love, and I'm, I'm going to do this, another one for this as well, is guilt, and I'm going to talk in a lot of detail about how this works um, then. But they love to push guilt on you. So if you're in a negative area, let's say, like, if I go to the beach, I normally have pretty happy thoughts. Then when I go back to my house, it'll just be negative thoughts. Um, and that's because your house energy is negative and it's more dense and it's affecting you in a negative way. So that's why you'd be feeling guilt. So here, entities like, don't play this video. Feel guilty. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve help. You don't deserve... You, you do, okay? They deserve to get erased. They're pure evil. They're parasites. Um, so, and often, yeah, oftentimes feeling guilt, that can happen. I felt... Uh, I, I used to get the guilt programming a lot. I've cleared it a lot. I don't feel guilty about things. I mean, <laughs> I don't feel guilty about things I shouldn't feel guilty about. I'll say that. I'm like, I don't feel guilty about anything anymore. No, no, I... If I would uh, do something bad, I'd be like, oh, that's bad. But even then, I wouldn't feel guilty. I'd be like, okay, how do I fix this? Um, rather than, oh, no, we're messed up. Um, but yeah, guilt, they love to do that. But just, if you're feeling bad when you watch this, that's fine. Just relax. Get through it. What are the other behavioral changes? I'm going to talk uh, more in detail about that in the video because that's like an hour-long topic, and I'll do it properly there. Um, no... I, this video wouldn't, everyone asks, would this video be safe to um, visit our parents? And the answer is, if your parents, let's just talk hypothetically, are needle people, I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Especially if you're already energetically um, low. If you're energetically high, yeah, you'll take a hit, but you'll be able to recover. Um, the needle man video would also be, would be very helpful. Um, but overall, you yeah, just be be careful with who you surround yourself with. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my beanie. It's a nice beanie. Um, clothes also have energy. No, I should probably talk about this in another video where I clean people's clothes. I'm going to clean all my clothes from Australia's energy. So now this this jacket, this uh, trench coat that I'm wearing, is before it was really bad before I cleaned it. Now it's like a wizard robe, pretty much. It's nice. Energetically, I'm wearing a big white and purple wizard robe. So if you view me energetically, that's what you'll say. Say hello to them. Who am I supposed to say hello to, Paul? Uh, Kevin. Um, how long will this video be? 
Uh, <laughs> as long as I want. Um, once I feel, I normally feel like I'm done when I and do feel like I'm done. I believe this will probably be an hour fifty minutes. Um, uh, we'll see. I'm thinking about any more topics. I'm going to talk about land and how how that affects food. Uh, I think that'll be good. Yes, the Nordic gods are evil. I mentioned them earlier when I listed everything. Uh, I did a video on emotions. You can, you can go find that one. So the way food works. Food has energy. The food here is so much better than Australia, by the way. So much better. And not, not taste-wise. I mean, taste-wise, yes. But energetic-wise, it's so much better. Um, so if your area, your land is clear, you, you will plant the food and there will be less problems. There will be less weather problems. And overall, it will often be in more abundance, especially if... I mean, no, I don't think anyone's done this. <laughs> when I when I make a video of this, um, well, this video will actually help because this will really help clear and charge your land. So yeah, this this is a video. Um, it will charge your land, and if you grow crops there, it'll be more abundant, and it will energetically be more rich, and that will normally give it just a better flavor overall. And that being said, so a lot of farms are in cursed land, and the food there energetically it's very negative. And it tastes quite bad. But in terms of the energy levels of the food, that's the most important thing I'd say um, with growing food. The energy levels from food that is in a more positive area, that is in a more positive area, is going to give you more energy. And a especially negative food, like something very negative, especially if you microwave it, that's gonna like you'll eat it and you'll feel tired <laughs> rather than alert. Now, yes, if you eat a big meal, you'll probably feel tired because your body's like, oh, I need to process this. But overall, positive energetic food will give you more energy. Um, just the overall land energy affects it affects so much. It affects the overall mood and happiness of the people. Um, it affects the weather. It it affects an awful lot. Uh, Susan, can you reword that question? I don't understand what you mean. I'm going to check my topics. I think I've covered... My mouse turned off. Turn back on. I think I've covered pretty much everything I was going to talk about. Oh, um, by the way, if your house starts oozing green slime and starts like you start hearing screaming in the house, that's okay. <laughs> just, just that'll pass. Don't be like, oh no, and then turn the video off. If that's if it's really bad, play a few more tabs, and it, it'll probably ooze faster and get out get, get out of the system. That's right. Um, I remember uh, one client. She's okay with me talking about this. She's probably not watching now because she's in. A, hang on, I'm not going to tell where she is. Um, I did a house cleaning video for her, and I've done a few house cleaning videos for people. And often the house has to get just how with energy clearing, you often get worse in the short term before you get better. Her house got worse in the short term <laughs> before it got better to the point where she messaged me. And she's like, "Hey, my whole house." Her house was really bad, by the way. Reeked of sulfur. Like, <laughs> it was, and I was like, what, what? I was very surprised that it had that much of a physical reaction. So, her family, who weren't energetic, were like, the house reeks of sulfur, and the lights are flickering. It was, you know, getting worse before it got better. But the house got it out of its system, and then it was quite a lot better. So, if your house reeks of sulfur, just, you know, don't stop, just, Keep, keep going, play it until you feel, until your intention really tells you to stop. If you have no intention, then just play as much as you want. You can't overdo it. Um, if, if the walls are slime, man, I'm, <laughs> you're a bad house. Um, you're, most, you're unlikely to get, if you're getting noises physically in the house, that's, that's bad. I'm glad your house is getting cleared. But you may get audible hallucinations. But that is your entity is basically being affected by the overall change in the house. Ignore that as well. Just um, and when I say audible hallucinations, you know what I'm talking about. I'm, I mean, some of them it will just be empty, and some of it will be like somebody is like coming by and you're hearing like rattling on your gate, and you look out and it's it's not real. None of it's there. Um, so just push through that. Um, well, Lisa, I wouldn't recommend you keep the ashes of a dead person <laughs> around you. That's, uh, I mean, unless they said, hey, keep this in your house, in which case really clear that vase um and the energy 
especially if you go on a negative way, those ashes aren't going to be energetically clear. You you can energetically clear them up. You should do that. Um, but overall, yeah, keeping that around, not such a good idea. Okay, Mario asks, what's the best way to protect ourselves very fast and win when someone is strong and sends a lot of bad energy to us? Well, if someone is actively attacking you, the best thing to do, and I have another topic for this as well, <laughs> um, I have a few videos to make topics about, uh, as you can tell. Um, if they're attacking you, the best thing to do is fully, try and fully shield. And if, if that's not working, um, play, play this video, play, put on a lot of my healing videos, that will help a lot. And then energetically keep them over them and just use your energy to hit them back. That, that's it, like, you know, they're punching you and you're just, you can block punches all you want. But eventually, you just got to kick them right in the nuts so they stop attacking you. And there's no problem with that. This video is going to make it very hard for them to attack your house. They're going to, you know, get sucked across the face if they try. Um, so, yeah, the best thing in energetic combat is to just really shield yourself so there's nothing coming in. And then just give them a slap. Don't, don't curse them. Don't do anything long term. But give them a whack. Um... Everyone asks me more, I do sessions again. Well, right now, I'm in the hyperbolic time chamber and I'm preparing for the Cell Games. If you haven't, if you haven't seen Dragon Ball Z, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but if you haven't heard what I'm talking about, basically, um, right now, I feel it's very, very important for me uh, to energetically train. The most important thing to me, by far, is energetic strength, my own energetic strength and just overall clarity and strength. Energetic strength levels is really it. So, I'm going to train and... I may start doing sessions in January, maybe mid-January. I'll see how I go closer to time, like if I, you know, how long I need, pretty much. We'll see. I will certainly make a video and announce when I'm going to. Yes, Susan, this will clear any native energy from your areas whatsoever. Native energy, I often see it, you see there, like, paintings. That's not, I mean, some of it is that they weren't that great of an artist, but a lot of it is that's an entity race. I see, like, drawn on snakes, often the fourth dimension, and this will clear all that too, is like demented cartoons or demented paintings. Um, especially if you've seen that one famous painting with the clock that's like sag, that and the screen, that kind of like cursed watercolor, that's a real entity race. Also, I mean, there's a lot of weird entity races. Um, claymation, that's an entity race. This will clear claymation to a high claymation energy. It's creepy. Um, this will clear that too. Yes, there are a few TV shows that have very cursed animation energy. Um, but yeah, this is going to clear native energy, no problem. Negative native energy is, is what I'll say. I'm not going to say all native energy is negative, but I will say that this will clear their stuff, no, no problem. Is it better to sleep at someone else's house that isn't energetically clean than allow them to sleep at your house? It, it really depends on the house and the person. The answer is... It'll be easier to clear your house, especially with this video, than it will be to clear yourself from their house. Because their house, they could have a million portals and everything rains havoc on you. Whereas your house, they're coming in there, yeah, they, they might muddy up your place a little bit, or they might muddy up a lot, but you can clean up the mud, and you, you'll you know where it came from, you just have to clear their stuff. Whereas from their house, it, there could be like six people, it, it's better to clear up your place than it is to clear yourself up from their place. That's what I'd recommend. Um, I already answered that question earlier. Stamina. You changed your name. It was Pop's Health Club. Um, I do ask, those unique energies and consciousness developed by states, countries, and islands, could this be similar to the principalities mentioned in ancient scriptures? I have no idea. Um, I have no idea. I will, when I make that video, I'll, I'll maybe look that up. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Kevin. Um, I, I do appreciate that. Because, I, I mean, I've basically become the person I needed since I was born, pretty much. Because I couldn't find any, any videos out there that were, here's how you start from level one, you know. Because a lot of these people, they're very uh, energy workers. They're just covered in either satanic energy or appealing energy. Or they start with good intentions, but then they get targeted. And this is a topic for another time. But... I, I couldn't find anyone that was making good, helpful, here's how you train videos. Um, Kelly's healing videos were good. At least they were good when I needed them. These are, uh, I, this isn't any dish on Kelly, but right now I'm a lot stronger. So I'd say, 
I recommend my healing videos over <laughs> the time being. Um, you know, I, but her healing video is helpful. So I'm like, okay, I need to make videos that are tutorials that train energy. And now that I'm here and I can think clearly, um, I need my microphone to show up. I need I need to have that mail to me. <laughs> and I need to buy a tripod, but I'm going to make more fundamentals of videos. And if I wasn't so targeted before, I'd probably have 20 of those up. But it was just a blur when I was trying to read them. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to read through that, no problem. More fundamentals of energies videos. I'm going to really try and do that. Will this clear energies from Netflix? Yes, this is going to clear your house from Netflix. Energy, um, I actually have that programmed in <laughs> abundance. <laughs> so yes, yes, this will clear your house from Netflix, no problem. It'll clear your house from any movies. You watch a horror movie, there's plug energy in your house. Um, basically, when you watch a movie, that opens a portal into your house. So if, if you don't want that, play this video, play it, picture it around your TV, and it'll not get through. I did that to my laptop. I shielded my laptop because I didn't like crap coming through it. Like, because I'm too, I'm very sensitive. So, yeah, this will make sure that no movies, even if it's not a horror movie, but one of the actors, and or a lot of the actors, is just evil. Um, yeah, this will help prevent their energy from leaking all over your house and getting it all over the floor. What if you realize someone attacked you when you already feel bad and you does, don't feel the strength to protect? How to reverse that? Just If they've already attacked you and you, off, you, you often find that later on, remote view and just say, show me how they attacked me and go through and clear. I mean, the best the best advice I can give Meryl is um, um, if you don't feel like you're up, energetically up to it, um, quite a few of my healing videos, I don't remember which one. <laughs> do do just overall clearing and I'm, I've got those certainly coming um, along the way, especially with the personal shooting video. So just play those. That's what I'd recommend. Yeah, well, I mean, I'll, uh, I'm just answering twice here. All of these healers, like, I, I do think I'm, I'm special to, to an extent. I have an old soul. I have energetic strength. But so do a lot of people. A lot of people have an old soul. And this, this information should just be out there and it should be free. Because um, the amount of benefit it will do everyone. You, you know, because I'm one person, all right? If there's 10,000 of me, it, <laughs> the world's going to get a lot easier. Um, and by me, I mean 10,000 people energetically training and doing their own energy. And uh, tre treating it like, you know, you're the savior is not going to help anyone. It's, it's simply not. You do need to put it out there and just have everyone to the best of their ability, do what they can. That's what's needed, okay? We're all in this prison. It's not, it, I'm not gonna do the great escape. That would've, if I died, like let myself die with that emotional energy, that would've been the great escape. Would've been like, all right guys, I've done my channel, peace. <laughs> Let's everyone else in the prison. That doesn't help, I mean, that, that helps me, but that doesn't help other people. I've just left you in the prison. Um, well, Henry, the answer is, is shifting reality possible? Yeah, but it's so hard. Just don't don't worry about it. Just do train your own energy, and five, six years from now, if you want to do that, you can. Um, what was my topic I was talking about, anyway? <laughs> I got I got distracted. Uh, someone tell me what else what else I have here. That's right. Um, there's also I closed the no. Give me the there it is. Give me the chat. There is an animated series. It is very violent. But it is quite accurate in energy. There's a series called Fate Zero Unlimited Blade Works, but you do need to watch a, a series called Fate Zero first. It is a good series. It is dark. Fate Zero is very dark. Um, Fate Zero Unlimited Blade Works not so much. So first episode of Fate Zero is too hard for you. Just watch that one. But it talks about something called a bounded field, which is pretty much what this is. That's the idea that it, it's a world of ma m uh, magic, pretty much, and. Abandoned field is they put a shield around the house and when people walk in they basically feel themselves pass through a field If you're energetically sensitive and the more sensitive you become you will feel that when you come home I mean I felt walking into my cursed house. I felt that but now you'll feel like you're basically coming to the border of your property and like Bloof. You'll walk through and you'll feel nice um, First of all, the works, I think the order did the the author did do quite a lot of research into say real magic um, the main character and ability which is well, <laughs> It's a magic show, but he wasn't a very good mage. Um, where he could touch technology and he could energetically sense and then see in his mind what was broken with it. That's a real ability. I had a friend who had that. He didn't have any other abilities which didn't help him with his energy problem. But he could do that. He could fix a car. Like, oh, it's like, oh, okay, it's the engine. 
Um, that's real. But that... Um, and then there's a movie series which is, is pretty great, like really, really good, called Fate Stay Night. Um, Heaven's Feel. That's really good. I'm just recommending this because it has... It, it talks about energy overall. Like, it, it... The magic they use is real magic. If you have enough strength, you could do everything they do in that um, series. Now, well, I can't yet, but it's quite real. And energetically... I mean, most, most shows aren't clear. I'm not going to say it's, it's clear, because it's not. It, it is violent. It's an action series. Um, Fate Zero is definitely the darkest of the three. But overall, um, it is worth watching. I was just... Yeah, I was talking about that, because they talked about how different bounded fields have different energy, and how um, the main heroine, her house, really... It was protective, but it was, like, overly protective. It gripped onto her. Um, I thought about that when I was making this video. And the main character itself was like warm and inviting and you could leave and go. That's how this energy is going to be. Now you can, once it's set up, you can customize it. If, I mean, I don't know why you want your house to grip onto you, but um, it'd also be hard to make positive energy even do that. But it should be warm and inviting. Uh, Frequency says, you try to program your origin hand to continue Strengthening while I do other activities. Yeah, I did that a lot too. I always have energy stuff going on. You get better and better at not having to focus on things the more you practice. When you take your focus off it, it is a problem, but that's okay. Just check origin hand, do something else, check it again. You build that muscle. And once you build that muscle, you will have that origin hand in you, you know, pretty much everywhere permanently if you want. It's just a matter of building the muscle. And then you'll have it, and that's one, your energetic strength, your own energetic strength, okay? Not anything else. It won't betray you. Yes, some days these clips will happen, and you'll feel bad. You will feel bad. But that's okay. Overall, though, you will keep building, and your muscles will get stronger, and your abilities will develop, and you'll just keep going up. And so long as you don't stick your head in any really bad hornet's nest, you, you won't. Overall, you know, it's not going to be. Painless, but you will get stronger and it will be just so worth it. It, it is unfortunate that you can't remote view yet, Shelley. The, the answer is yet. You can't visualize yet. Um, but yeah, just pull up a picture of your house that you're going to move into and say, do that one. This is for anyone. If you're like just really bad at visualizing or you have so much interference and people watching this will, Say, this is my house, or if you need this is my office, I can't picture it for some reason, do that, and it'll do it. Um, if you work at a school in particular, I'm not going to name any names, you know who you are, then you could play like six tabs and play this for three days, and man, that school will become, you probably, you might even see an increase in the overall, like, grades, you definitely see an increase in the attitude of people. Some people, their attitude may, like, they start breaking, especially the, some of the negative teachers. But overall, you would see an increase in the quality of their happiness. Their overall mindset would improve because there'd be a lot less negative energy. So, yeah, for, for schools in particular, if you work at a school, yes, use this. Use it a lot. It'll fix things up great. Is there negative energy in uh, history things? Yeah, yeah, there is. Unfortunately, well, it depends on the history and what you're watching. But if they're like, here's the Colosseum, where, well, you know, um, I, I'm saying this because I was near the Colosseum and I was like, geez, this, this energy is bad. I didn't go to the Colosseum. It's an hour plane trip, so I can just see it whenever I want. Um, well, not whenever I want, but I'm, I will go see it in the future when I feel I'm strong enough to see it and not have any problems, like not having set me back even a second. But yes, if they're showing the Colosseum or here's Pompeii, where, you know, Thousands of people died. You're like, oh, geez, thanks. This is very, very cursed. So, yeah, history programs, energetically not very clean. Um, so abundant. Once your house is cleared, um, then, and I know who you are, by the way. I have, I have a good memory. Just because I'm saying you should name, I know who you are. Then, what, yeah, once you feel your house is cleared and shielded, play this for a few hours and just have it set to do your TV or do your laptop. That way, you, you watch the, the, the cursed history thing and they go, here's the pyramids. And then you go, Pork. like it. It's not getting through, and it's not, you know, getting mud all over your house. Um, anyone else have any questions? I feel this went very well. I've covered all the topics that I wanted to. Um, if anyone had any questions that I missed, let me know. 
if you try to I'm one of the Yeah, I do have a lot of moderators. Kevin, if you want to be a moderator, by the way, let me know. I'll moderate you too. <laughs> I mean, I'm good at... Most people that are attracted to this kind of, you know, video, they're good people, all right? I, I can trust them. I'm not going to have a moderator start banning people. Um, and I'm pretty good at reading people. At least I can leave it at the moment. You know, they may go evil six months later. I'm not naming any names. <laughs> but uh, you, you may be able to think who that is. Yeah, I'm not going to name any names. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good at um, filling people's energy. So, yeah, if half the chat's moderated, that's why. Yeah, yes, Abundant, yes, I do. Just double-checking. I'm just going to pull up, like, a template and see how people's houses are going. It's going pretty well. Well, my land is looking really good here. The house across from me was a bit cursed. I was like, oh, I'll fix it with the video. It is now no longer cursed. I didn't shield it. Um, you can make the, the shield will mainly be for your house. And then if you want to shield your neighbor's house, you can, but do your house first. Um, but that house is now empty energetically. That's nice. It's like, just, and by empty, I mean it's empty of all negative energy. My energy's falling through it. My energy's, my energy's going to be falling through this whole island soon anyway. <laughs> That's the goal. That's the major reason why I did this. I'm like, I want this island to be mine. Okay. Um, once I learn Italian, that'll make more sense. But this, this will be my island. Gonna have very clear energy but over the whole thing, or at least over the whole thing, maybe minus the major cities for the time being. But uh, so long as my beach is clear, over air, um, over the over air, <laughs> the beach is clear, uh, just the overall area is clear. I'm, I'm happy. It, it'll be good. Um, can I tell the story of when I was healing? I took a turn for the better. I mean, it was a gradual process. <laughs> I had to piece myself back together piece by piece. Very slow, very gradual, took a long time. Um, I do have that story planned, but it's long. Uh, by creative fragrance, yes, Henry, you can do that. I don't know how you create a fragrance. I mean, fragrances don't have chemicals in it, but if you're talking like lavender or sage, yeah, you can... You can make the intention that this stage energy will get charged into your shield and you can use it. Yeah, Ernest, that could be entities. Um, I'd have it that I'd be, well, I can be trying to sleep and I just hear footsteps on the stairs, like, boom, 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 boom. I, as a child, I used to sleep with the door open. I, that's not a good idea when you're in a target house or cursed house. And what I'd see is basically, scare hall, Grim Reaper type hand, open the door, I'm, I'm going to, do a video just on horror stories, <laughs> ghost stories, I guess. And then yeah, they open the door and then come in. Um, so yeah, I started sleeping with the door shut because things kept coming in through the door and opening my door. That was very annoying. Um, if things are bad, by the way, I recommend you do sleep with a light on. I, I couldn't back at my house because my dad was, say, crazy. <laughs> and he'd get pretty angry if I slept with the lights on, even though it made the targeting a lot better, especially as a child, it did, or as a teenager in particular, it made the targeting better, but he, he, was, he wasn't having it. Um, but yeah, if you can sleep with the lights on, sleep with the lights on while targeting. Once this video is done and your house is clear and you feel welcome in your house with the energy, you don't need to sleep with the lights on, but sleeping with the lights on can help a lot. Uh, yeah, Demi, I actually had this conversation yesterday. Yes, if I can feel the intent from someone's energy more so than what they're saying. So if someone is saying something that I guess could be con con like construed as being me, but if it's not their intent, I don't feel anything from it. And if they say something nice, but their intent is hostile, <laughs> yeah, I feel that intent. I go, oh, this person does not like me. Even though they're complimenting me, they, they're quite negative. Um, can we play this video with the intention to be clear uh, a place or house? Yeah, yeah, you can play this video and if you're in Sardinia and you want to clear, I don't know, Netherlands, yes, no problem, you, you can clear that. Do it through time, I wouldn't recommend because stuff can get really weird when you do that. Yeah, <laughs> that's my personal experience. Don't be like, I want to shield my house 20 years ago. No, 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 just shield your house now, okay? Don't shield it 20 years ago. Once I, once I figure out time, which is a way, which is quite a way off, then then you can shield your house 20 years ago. But that can just, there's so many variables if you do that. So many variables change. 
So just shield your house in in the now. Um, don't even shield it like five minutes from now. Just shield it now, okay? And you'll be all good. Yeah, it, it is really nice. I didn't go for a swim today because I was the only person at the beach and it's very rocky and the waves, it, the tide looks strong and I'm not really fully recovered. So I'm like, no, if I get swept out, it's gonna be, I'm gonna have to like, use my energy. I'm gonna have to use my energy and be Moses to get back. Otherwise I'm going out to sea. So I didn't risk swimming, but I will, I will go for a swim for sure. I did do Wim Hof and was in the shore. Um, with regards to parasitic entities, movie Venom, yeah, yeah, um, I didn't see Venom, I watched, the, some friends tried to make me watch it years ago, and I got like 30 minutes in, and I'm like, this is not a, this is not a good movie, and the end is bad, um, maybe it gets better, I don't think it does. I'd recommend Parasite the anime in terms of Parasite, rather than, um, Venom, I, that's a good thing for overall, have Parasites energetically work, I don't know much about essential oils, my entire thing is energy training, I know, I know moisturizer, not so much about essential oils. Is there a community? Can, no, I don't have any kind of um, community at the moment because I have. Here, here's the problem with that. If I made a group chat, everybody's energy would bounce off each other, and it would be well. Yes, you'd be shielded, but there's still some kind of transference, and that could be problematic. Um, now I've made it that this video is fully shielded, so anyone watching this, you, they can't access your energy. You can't access theirs. It's fully shielded. Okay, all they get is a big purple wall. Which is good. So if I developed um, a, a Discord chat, and I'll think, I'll think about this, then there'd be a purple wall, and there would not be a way. There wouldn't be energy jumping off each other unless you were really talking to each other. Um, that's what I say there. Abundant, I told you by Sunlight three months ago. What are you doing? <laughs> well, come on. Um. What did you say? What? Uh, is it possible to get your energy to work on intellectual skills to make you progress much quicker? Yes. And it also goes the opposite way, where negative entities can target you and make it hard to learn things. Like, with that eclipse energy, man, I was not learning Italian. It was just not happening. But yeah, the more energetical key you get, the more your brain works, just the easier it is. I've gone for two hours, and that's surprising, but not really that surprising. Yeah, no, I am. I am so much happier. It, I mean, I, I wasn't miserable in Australia, but it's more difficult to be happy when stuff, when you're just getting stronger all the time. Now, with um, more healing videos, I do have a lot, so I may do them even more regularly than weekly. I, because um, listing them off, X-rays need to need to clear X-rays. Need to do personal healing chilling video, but I feel like I have two weeks for that because I really really want to get that like amazing. Um, and the other things I mentioned, clearing, clearing objects, that'll be, that's later on. Um, one, to boost energetic strength, I'm going to do that. Um, and I'm sure a few more will come to mind once I sit down and actually write them out. <sighs> Just another car. But yeah, oh, I'll, sh I'll show you around actually. So this is, um, see, see if you can see it. This is my... No. You fell down. Hang on. Are you okay? I'm just trying to sit in a shitty ASMR video. This is my veranda. It's great. Don't check my house, by the way. I, I will not tolerate that. Uh, over there, near the mountains. Hopefully, you can see them. Over there. Looks great. Um, there's no cell tower anywhere nearby, which was something I was a little worried about, because where I lived before, there was a cell tower. Pretty close by. It did not help me. Um, I've got a shower down there. Overall, it's nice. So, put this back down. There we are. So, take care, everyone. Uh, yeah, feel free to use this video as, as much as you want. Um, yeah, as many as many times as you want. I do recommend you download it. This video, even in the future, no matter how my energy changes, which is, it's going to get good and better. Um, it will still be useful because I'm making this that it will be this time now I'm not going to come back to this future or anything like that it's sealed away 
So this will be forever a good house clearing, land clearing, and overall clearing video. So thank you everyone for showing up. I'm going to be more careful and um, to not not get the wrong time or have YouTube do the wrong time on me. Thank you.